Right. <laughs> we used to have power cuts all the time, right? So, back in the 70s when we were having all these power cuts, I'd be on the sound system and doing this stuff to music, and then you get a power cut. Now, sometimes you get a power cut in one side of Birmingham, but not in the other. And literally, people just get in their cars and go over to the other side of Birmingham and carry on partying. But sometimes, I'd have a stake in the bar. I'd get paid, depending on you know how much drink they sold and everything. So I would say to people, no, stay, let me entertain you. Then I would do some poems. I also used to do impersonations, which is a crazy thing to do at these blues dances. I mean, these dances are illegal, right? These dances are where a man and a woman want to get in the corner and whine and grind and you know listen to some roots music. Um, so when the power cut goes down, they want to go. But I say, listen, you know, do you want to see me impersonate Mick Jagger? And I was really good at doing a Mick Jagger impersonation or a Bob Marley impersonation. And then I'd put a poem in. And then I would just talk about stuff. I was really lucky in that, for some reason, I was interested in apartheid. I was interested in people like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X a long time before it became fashionable. And I used to talk about these things. And kids, people used to come to me and go, boy, you know a lot of things for such a young man. Mm. Um, and so I used to kind of do a kind of performance, lecture, comedy show, poetry show, all kind of mixed together just to keep the punters there. And then the electricity would come on and I'd get back on the music.